Have you ever felt like you're stuck in patterns of behavior or thoughts that seem impossible to break? You're not alone. The subconscious mind, that silent powerhouse beneath our conscious awareness, controls almost all our thoughts, emotions, and actions. It's the driving force behind our habits, beliefs, and ultimately, our entire lives. Once you understand how the subconscious mind operates and learn effective methods to reprogram it, you can break free from limiting beliefs and behaviors that hold you back. Whether it's overcoming fears, achieving goals, or improving relationships, the power to transform lies within your subconscious mind. So, we'll explore the profound influence of the subconscious mind and delve into techniques to reprogram it, offering you the key to unlocking your full potential and taking control of your destiny. To grasp the significance of reprogramming the subconscious mind, it's important to understand its inner workings. The concept of subconscious mind, unlike the conscious mind which processes information linearly and logically, the subconscious operates in a more abstract, non-linear manner beneath the surface, influencing our thoughts, feelings and actions without our conscious awareness. It is the autopilot of your life, silently directing your behaviors based on past experiences, learned beliefs and ingrained habits. While the conscious mind may set intentions and goals, it's the subconscious that ultimately determines our outcomes. Nearly everything you do is controlled by a part of your mind that you barely understand. This is the startling reality that governs our everyday existence. According to psychologists, a staggering 95% of our behaviors, decisions, emotions and actions are driven by the subconscious mind. This mysterious realm beneath our conscious awareness is not just a passive storehouse of memories and experiences, but a powerful engine shaping our reality. To understand the profound impact of the subconscious mind, let's start with a simple analogy. Picture an iceberg floating in the ocean. The visible tip above water represents our conscious mind, the thoughts and feelings we are aware of. However, the vast bulk of the iceberg lies hidden beneath the surface just like the subconscious mind. This hidden part of the iceberg is what directs our lives, influencing our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions in ways we often don't realize. One might ask, how does the subconscious mind gain such control? From the moment we are born, our brains are like sponges, absorbing information from our environment, our parents, our culture, and our experiences. These early impressions form deep-rooted patterns and beliefs in our subconscious. Think of these as the software programs running silently in the background of our minds. They govern our automatic responses and shape our perception of the world. For instance, if you were praised for being diligent as a child, your subconscious might equate hard work with self-worth, driving you to overwork in adulthood. Consider how often you find yourself reacting to situations instinctively without conscious thought. These knee-jerk responses are driven by the programming of the subconscious mind, which acts as a filter through which we perceive and interpret the world around us. Throughout our lives, our subconscious mind absorbs a vast array of information from our environment, experiences, and interactions with others. These impressions form the foundation of our beliefs, shaping our self-image, attitudes, and perceptions of reality. Spiritual traditions across the world have long acknowledged the existence and power of the subconscious mind. In ancient wisdom and modern science alike, the subconscious mind is recognized as the seat of our deepest beliefs and patterns. In Hindu philosophy, the concept of samskaras is a profound and intricate aspect of understanding the human psyche and its underlying influences. Samskaras, derived from the Sanskrit word sam, meaning complete or joined together, and kara, meaning action, refer to the deep imprints or impressions left on the subconscious mind by past actions, experiences, and thoughts. These impressions are not fleeting. They persist and accumulate over time, forming patterns that influence our behavior, reactions, and overall life trajectory. The mind is a pristine, untouched piece of clay at birth. 
Each experience, thought and action we encounter leaves a mark on this clay, shaping and molding it. Some marks are light and barely noticeable, while others are deep grooves that greatly alter the clay's surface. Similarly, samskaras are these grooves etched into our subconscious mind. Over time, these grooves become pathways that our thoughts and behaviors naturally follow, often without our conscious awareness. These imprints are formed from a wide array of experiences. Positive experiences create samskaras that lead to beneficial habits and constructive behaviors. Conversely, negative experiences can leave deep, painful samskaras that result in limiting beliefs and destructive patterns. A person who experiences significant trauma may develop a deep-seated fear or anxiety that influences their actions for years to come. Samskaras are not merely individual and isolated, they are interconnected and cumulative. Each new experience interacts with existing samskaras, either reinforcing them or creating new patterns. This cumulative effect means that our current state of mind and behavior is the result of a complex web of past experiences. Similarly, in Buddhism, the concept of karma intricately ties our past actions to our present and future experiences, suggesting that the seeds we plant in our subconscious through our actions and intentions profoundly influence our destiny. Karma is often misunderstood as a simple cause and effect mechanism, but in the context of the subconscious mind, it encompasses a deeper, more nuanced understanding. In Buddhist teachings, karma refers to the intentional actions we perform through our body, speech and mind. These actions create imprints or seeds in our subconscious known as sankharas or samskaras. These imprints shape our tendencies, habits and inclinations, guiding our responses to various situations. Essentially, our current thoughts, emotions and behaviors are the fruits of seeds planted by our past actions, and these in turn plant new seeds for the future. For a person who has cultivated anger and resentment over many years, each angry thought, word and deed leaves a mark on their subconscious mind, reinforcing a pattern of anger. This person might find themselves frequently experiencing situations that provoke anger, not because they are inherently unlucky, but because their subconscious mind is conditioned to perceive and react to the world in a way that brings about these experiences. Their karma has created a cycle of anger that continues to influence their life unless they consciously work to break it. Let's delve deeper into how this works in practice. Imagine you have a fear of public speaking Consciously, you might tell yourself that there's nothing to fear, that you've prepared well, and that the audience is friendly. Yet, when you step onto the stage, your heart races, your palms sweat, and your mind goes blank. This is your subconscious mind at work. Somewhere deep within, it holds a memory, perhaps from childhood, of being embarrassed or criticized in front of others. This memory, and the fear associated with it triggers an automatic response that overrides your conscious intentions. The power of the subconscious is also evident in the habits we form. Have you ever tried to break a habit like biting your nails or procrastinating only to find yourself falling back into the same pattern? This is because habits are ingrained in the subconscious mind. They are like well-trodden paths in a forest, easy to follow because they have been walked so many times. Creating a new habit requires not just conscious effort, but also reprogramming the subconscious mind to accept a new path. Understanding the role of the subconscious mind in shaping our lives leads us to an important question. Can we change these deep-seated patterns? Techniques to reprogram the subconscious mind? The answer is a resounding yes. There are ways to access and reprogram the subconscious mind. Many of us live our lives unconsciously, allowing our subconscious beliefs and patterns to dictate our reality. We become prisoners of our own minds, trapped in a cycle of repetitive thoughts, emotions and behaviors that limit our potential and keep us from experiencing true freedom and fulfillment. 
Our subconscious beliefs and patterns create shadows that obscure our perception of reality, keeping us confined to a limited understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Reprogramming the subconscious mind will help us break free from this mental prison and step into the light of awareness, contemplative presence. Let's begin by delving into one of the most accessible ways to connect with and influence our subconscious mind, contemplative presence. At its core, contemplative presence is about being fully engaged and attentive to the present moment, free from the distractions of the past or future. In our fast-paced world filled with constant stimuli and distractions, the practice of contemplative presence offers a sanctuary, a space where we can pause, breathe, and connect with our innermost self. This practice is not about achieving a state of complete stillness or emptying the mind of thoughts. Rather, it is about cultivating a gentle awareness of our thoughts, feelings and sensations as they arise in the present moment. The chatter of the conscious mind begins to quieten, creating space for deeper insights and connections to emerge from the subconscious. It is in this space of stillness and openness that we can access the wisdom and guidance that reside within us. Notice the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. When your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Extend your awareness to your thoughts and feelings, observing them without getting caught up in them. This practice helps you become more aware of your subconscious mind's workings, making it easier to identify and change limiting beliefs. Forming new thought patterns. In this state of contemplative presence, your mind is open and receptive, you can recognize the subconscious patterns that influence your behavior and begin to change them consciously. This is the perfect time to gradually form new thoughts pattern, replacing negative subconscious patterns with empowering ones. Studies show that our brain's neural pathways are like deeply worn tracks in a forest created by repetitive thoughts and behaviors. These pathways form the basis of our habits and automatic responses. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. This ability means that our brains are not fixed, but can be shaped and reshaped by our thoughts, behaviors, and experiences. When we engage in new thoughts and actions, we start creating new pathways, slowly but surely reprogramming our subconscious mind. This process requires patience and persistence, much like carving a new path through the forest. This scientific discovery aligns perfectly with the ancient spiritual teachings that suggest we can transform our inner world through conscious effort and intention. Research in the field of psychology, particularly in cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness-based stress reduction, shows that our thoughts and behaviors are deeply influenced by subconscious patterns. Studies have demonstrated that contemplative presence can rewire the brain, reduce stress, and improve emotional regulation, supporting the idea that we can consciously influence our subconscious mind. And additionally, epigenetics, the study of how behaviors and environment can cause changes that affect the way genes work, offers additional insights into the interplay between karma and the subconscious mind. Epigenetic research shows that our experiences and actions can influence gene expression, potentially affecting not only our health and behavior, but also that of future generations. This scientific perspective aligns with the Buddhist concept of karma, highlighting the profound and lasting impact of our actions on both our subconscious and our overall life path. Positive words and thoughts. Another method to reprogram our subconscious mind is through positive words and thoughts. The power of words and thoughts is echoed in many spiritual traditions, underscoring the profound impact our inner dialogue has on our reality. In the Bible it is written, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. In Proverbs 23, 7. This verse captures the idea that our thoughts, beliefs, and inner narratives shape who we are and the life we experience. This biblical wisdom aligns with the teachings of many spiritual and philosophical traditions that recognize the influence of our mental and emotional states on our outer world. 
In Hindu philosophy, the concept of Maya refers to the illusory nature of the world and the belief that our perceptions shape our reality. The thoughts we harbor, the words we speak, and the beliefs we hold create the lens through which we view and interact with the world. Therefore, by changing our inner dialogue, we can alter our perception of reality and, consequently, our experiences. Similarly, Buddha once taught that what we think, we become. This profound truth underscores the power of the mind's unseen workings. The thoughts and beliefs embedded within us shape our reality, often beyond our conscious awareness. The challenge lies in bringing this hidden world to light and transforming it to serve our highest good. Thoughts are not mere fleeting mental activities. They are powerful forces that shape our perceptions, actions, and ultimately, our reality. Each thought we harbor creates a ripple effect, influencing our emotions, behaviors, and interactions with the world. Consider the analogy of a garden. Our mind is like a fertile garden, and our thoughts are the seeds we plant. Positive, uplifting thoughts are akin to planting beautiful flowers and healthy crops, while negative, destructive thoughts are like sowing weeds. Over time, the garden of our mind reflects the types of seeds we have sown and nurtured. Just as a well-tended garden flourishes, a mind cultivated with positive thoughts blossoms into a life of fulfillment and joy. However, the challenge lies in the fact that much of our thought process operates below the surface, in the realm of the subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind is like the soil in our garden, rich with the imprints of past experiences, beliefs and emotions. It operates silently and powerfully, influencing our conscious thoughts and actions without our direct awareness. This hidden world of the subconscious holds the key to understanding why we think, feel and behave the way we do. Bringing the subconscious to light involves a journey of self-discovery and transformation. It requires us to become mindful of our thoughts and beliefs, to question their origins, and to consciously choose those that serve our highest good. By consciously choosing positive, empowering thoughts, we can shape our subconscious mind and, in turn, our lives, healing past traumas. Another essential aspect of reprogramming the subconscious mind is addressing and healing past traumas. Our deepest fears and limiting beliefs often stem from unresolved experiences that have left emotional imprints on our subconscious. Healing these wounds requires courage and self-compassion as we confront and release the pain that has been buried within us. Emotions are the language of the subconscious mind. They carry the weight of our experiences, coloring our perceptions and influencing our actions. To reprogram the subconscious, we must learn to navigate and harness the power of our emotions, transforming them from obstacles into allies on our journey of self-discovery and growth. Positive emotions such as joy, love and gratitude have a profound impact on the subconscious mind. When we consistently cultivate these feelings, we create a fertile ground for new empowering beliefs to take root. This practice is not about denying or suppressing negative emotions, but about consciously choosing to focus on the positive aspects of our experiences and fostering appreciation. In addition to positive emotions, it is crucial to acknowledge and release negative emotions. Unresolved negative emotions, such as anger, fear and sadness, can become trapped in the subconscious mind, influencing our beliefs and behaviors in ways we may not realize. To reprogram the subconscious, we must address these emotional blocks and release their hold on us. One effective technique for releasing negative emotions is emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping. This method involves gently tapping on specific acupressure points on the body while focusing on the negative emotion or belief you wish to release. Tapping helps to balance the body's energy system, allowing the negative emotion to dissipate and creating space for new positive patterns to emerge. To practice EFT, identify a specific negative emotion or belief you want to address. Rate the intensity of this emotion on a scale from 1 to 10. 
Then, begin tapping on the following points while repeating a phrase that acknowledges the emotion and affirms your willingness to release it. The points to tap on are the side of the hand, karate chop point, top of the head, eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, and under the arm. As you tap, notice any shifts in your emotional state and adjust your focus as needed. Self-awareness. Self-awareness is the cornerstone of reprogramming the subconscious mind. Without understanding the beliefs and patterns that drive our behavior, any attempt at change is like trying to navigate in the dark. The ancient Greek aphorism, Know Thyself, reflects this truth. By delving into our inner world, we illuminate the hidden aspects of our psyche, allowing us to transform our subconscious mind consciously and deliberately. One powerful tool for fostering self-awareness is writing down your thoughts, feelings and experiences, creating a dialogue with your inner self. This helps uncover subconscious patterns, providing insights into how your past influences your present. By regularly reflecting on your entries, you can identify recurring themes and beliefs that may be holding you back. Self-awareness also involves understanding the impact of external influences on our subconscious programming. Our environment, the media we consume, and the people we interact with all shape our beliefs and behaviors. To create a supportive and empowering environment, it's essential to be mindful of these influences and make conscious choices about what we expose ourselves to. Consider the media you consume daily. Are the books, movies and news programs you engage with uplifting and empowering, or do they reinforce fear and negativity? Choose content that inspires and motivates you, aligning with the positive beliefs and goals you wish to cultivate. Surround yourself with people who support your growth and encourage your aspirations. Their positive influence can significantly impact your subconscious mind, reinforcing your efforts to reprogram it. One practical way to curate a positive environment is by creating a vision board. A vision board is a visual representation of your goals and aspirations filled with images and words that inspire and motivate you. By regularly viewing your vision board, you reinforce positive beliefs and align your subconscious mind with your conscious desires. Challenging Limiting Beliefs Another aspect of self-awareness is recognizing and challenging the limiting beliefs that hold you back. These beliefs are often formed in childhood based on experiences and messages we received from others. They become deeply ingrained in our subconscious mind, influencing our thoughts, feelings and actions. To reprogram these beliefs, it's essential to identify them and replace them with more empowering alternatives. Start by examining areas of your life where you feel stuck or unfulfilled. What beliefs do you hold about yourself in these areas? Once you've identified a limiting belief, challenge its validity. Ask yourself, is this belief based on fact or is it a perception that can be changed? Look for evidence that contradicts the belief and consider alternative perspectives. Self-compassion plays a crucial role in this process. It's easy to become critical of ourselves when we uncover limiting beliefs and patterns. However, approaching this journey with kindness and understanding is essential for lasting change. Remember that everyone has subconscious beliefs that influence their behavior and recognizing them is the first step toward transformation. Now we must understand shadow work. This practice involves exploring the darker, often hidden aspects of our psyche, parts of ourselves that we may have rejected or suppressed. These shadow aspects can significantly impact our subconscious mind, influencing our thoughts, emotions and behaviors in ways we might not realize. To engage in shadow work, start by identifying traits or behaviors in others that trigger a strong emotional response in you. These reactions often point to shadow aspects within yourself. For instance, if you feel intense anger or jealousy towards someone, consider what aspect of yourself might be mirrored in that person. Reflect on these feelings and explore their origins. 
By acknowledging and integrating your shadow, you can release the negative influence it has on your subconscious mind and move toward greater wholeness. Setting clear intentions and goals. As we delve further into the process of reprogramming the subconscious mind, it's essential to understand the role of setting clear intentions and goals. Consider the parable of the elephant and the rider often used in Eastern philosophies. The conscious mind is like the rider, rational and controlled, but the subconscious mind is like the elephant, powerful and driven by instinct. For the rider to guide the elephant, there must be a deep understanding and harmony between them. Similarly, aligning our conscious goals with our subconscious beliefs is essential for meaningful change. Setting clear intentions and goals helps to align our subconscious mind with your conscious desires. When you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve, your subconscious mind can work more effectively to help you reach your goals. Begin by defining your goals in specific positive terms. Once you have defined your goals, break them down into smaller, actionable steps. This approach makes your goals more manageable and helps to build momentum as you achieve each step. Create a plan and set a timeline for accomplishing your goals and regularly review and adjust your plan as needed. Creating a mental roadmap, visualizing your desired outcomes is a powerful tool for reinforcing your goals and intentions. This practice helps to embed your goals into your subconscious mind, making them more likely to manifest in your reality. By aligning your subconscious mind with your conscious desires, you can create lasting change and manifest your dreams. In addition to these techniques, it's important to cultivate a mindset of growth and resilience. Challenges and setbacks are inevitable on the journey to reprogram your subconscious mind, but they can also be valuable opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace these experiences with a sense of curiosity and openness and view them as stepping stones toward your ultimate goals. One way to foster a growth mindset is through the practice of self-reflection. Regularly take time to reflect on your progress, celebrating your successes and identifying areas for improvement. By maintaining a growth-oriented perspective, you can stay motivated and resilient even in the face of challenges. As we reprogram our subconscious mind, we begin to see ourselves and the world with new clarity and truth. We recognize that we are not bound by our past or our conditioning, but are free to create our own reality. We reclaim our power to choose how we think, feel and act, aligning our subconscious beliefs with our conscious desires and values. This process of awakening to our true nature is both liberating and empowering. It allows us to transcend the limitations of our past and step into a future filled with possibility and potential. We become architects of our own destiny, shaping our lives according to our deepest aspirations and highest ideals. In the journey of reprogramming the subconscious mind, each step taken towards the light brings us closer to a life of authenticity, purpose and joy. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-realization where we uncover the truth of who we are and embody the fullness of our being. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.